Hi, so this is just a short video on how to show you how to save a selection. Um, and this is a really important tool that I think could save you a lot of time and um, a lot of frustration too. So we're going to use the brush tool to select um, this leaf. So I'm just going to select it and um, it doesn't matter. Your selection doesn't have to be perfect um, because once you open it up again, you will be able to um, adjust it. So it really depends to um, what kind of object you're selecting. If you're selecting a person or a more complex object, it will take you longer. But this is just a leaf, so it didn't take me that long. Um, and of course, I could perfection this selection more, but I just want to show you how you can save it so you can use it for later. So you're going to go up to the bar menu where it says select and you're going to scroll down to um, save selection and you're going to click to save to file and you're just going to name this so I'm just going to name it a leaf and see I'll save it to my desktop so I'll just save that um, and now I can just deselect this if I want to or you know if you're uh, busy and you need to come back to this project so um, you can just close out of it or if you just selected a, an object that was very complex that took a very long time and um, you want to make sure that you don't lose that selection because it does happen this is an important tool that you do need so um, save them all the time after a very hard selection I would recommend that you save your selection that way you can you don't lose it and you don't lose all that time that you worked on so let's go back to the option where it says select and let's click on uh, load selection from file so click on that and here's my selection and I'm just going to open it and here it is and like I said it doesn't have to be perfect because you can always um, add to your selection you can always keep adding or you can subtract and yeah, that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching.